I think I'll be doing this in batches. The sun has come out now. So I'll be going in. We just be doing them little by little. Like I said, there's always a lot to do in the garden. Hello and welcome to my channel, Yemi Show. If you're new here, a pleasant welcome to you. So it's Saturday morning and I have some garden chores to do. I know um, on this channel, I normally show you a lot of plant herbs for my garden, for food, and that can be useful to improve your health. But of course, you won't have this plant if I do not take care of them. So I'll be doing some garden activities this morning and I would love you to come along with me. So this morning I'm starting with my prayer plant. So this is um, the prayer plant and it's popularly known as um, moi moi leaves. So I'm just trimming it. I don't have a lot to trim, trim here because um, I'll be using it as I go along. Actually, I did um, some trimming here. I'd, um, I'd like to show you. So I trimmed um, this part. I trimmed this part during the week. I had um, my plant, you know, extending, you know, into my driveway. This is um, date palm. It's one plant I planted myself. I love it so much. So I trimmed all this. I guess I forgot to trim this one. I'll be taking out this uh, this dry plantain. So I'm, I'm still doing more of that. You know, it's so funny. I actually this trimming I had some guys um, come to weed uh, my garden you know of recent but I was going to call another gardener you know now a proper gardener to come and help me you know trim but um, from one reason or the other I just thought against it that I could actually do this myself I have my saw so I that is why I had done this um, this part before I know there's still some more that um, needs to be done. I'll be taking you closer to my plantain tree, which I'll be weeding, which I'm still weeding right now. So this is just to make my garden look um, beautiful. So that is plantain. I know a lot of people, you know, don't like plantain in their gardens. They think that, oh, it makes their garden look ugly, you know. You can actually spend some time. It's a lot of, it's a nice garden um, activity. So, I still have some more. I know the funny thing, I'm not going to be throwing away any of this. Wow, my garden is full of food. This is an, um, a vegetable. I didn't even know it was there. Look at how tall it is. Very high. This is um, shoko, you know, shoko vegetable. Wow, but I'll be trimming it. There's no point. It's going to be there, you know. So I'll just be. I'll be leaving that. I'm sure the seeds would be going back into the soil and I'll be having, you know, shoko again somewhere else. Okay, so that is me trimming this plantain tree. 
at least not making it's not going to make my garden look ugly i still have some but you know what i'm going to do i'm going to be leaving this at the base of the plant that's what i do i practice organic organic farming in no time this will go back into the soil and would enrich you know enrich my my garden So this plantain tree right here, you know, has been one of my oldest plantain trees. It's yet to produce. Um, I'm sure very soon it will be producing because it was just squashed up within, you know, the plants. So like I said, I'm putting this I'll be showing you that. So that is the the cottons. I'm putting them right at the base of the plant. In no time, that would disappear into the soil and um, would enrich my soil. So I'm going to other parts of the garden that I missed. Um, the other day so like i said i i cleared this pathway the other day because it's always um you know difficult you know getting out of the car the plants were always um disturbing so i did that myself i think i should be taking out some out of this one So you can see I actually have another saw here it's funny I I thought I misplaced this one at the time but it's actually better than this one it's just that the blade right now it's um is blunt so this is um, king of bitters I have shown you this plant uh, before it's um it's a very very medicinal plants okay so wow so this is doing well here you know it's funny i don't plant this king of bitters i mean i had them and the seeds just um anywhere the seeds fall i'll be showing you the seeds I mean, you can see the tiny seeds there. So once you have this plant, you would forever have them because they just the seeds just spread everywhere. I'll be showing you quite a lot of the seeds um, on the ground. So the we are using the other one. This okay. The truth is that very healthy but also can be a nuisance because it just grows everywhere. See, I didn't plant them in this pot, but it's there. I think I'll just take this out because I actually find out that what I have in this pot is um, I have aloe vera in this pot, but this had taken over. I'm sure you can see. See, see. that's it. I just realized I pulled out one aloe vera with the root of this um, stuff okay I actually pulled out one aloe vera so I'll be putting back that back into the soil I have another pot I'll be planting that in
So I'm taking out all this king of bitters because um, I actually have enough of them all over. So I don't think I'll be missing. I'll be missing this ones. I mean, I even still have a few coming up on the floor. So I'll be taking these out. Now the problem is where do I put these ones? Because anywhere I put them, they're going to germinate again. So this is my pot of aloe vera I just weeded now that had um, the king of bitters. And if you can see on the floor, those are zillions and zillions of seeds of king of bitters. And the truth, this is a tiny one here. They're going to grow again, so I'm not going to miss them. You know, there's one plant that you once you have it, you will keep having it, you know. Okay, so so I'll throw this in a pile you know so I'm going to be dumping this where um, it's been difficult for things to grow okay so I think this is the best spot to dump it I don't know if you can see so I actually have nothing has been growing here nothing grows here I actually had um, um, a generator repair guy pour some engine oil here so it's been very difficult for anything to grow to grow here so another plant I'm going to be working on this morning is this my mango plant this is a dwarfed mango i've had it for two years and it is yet to produce so i'll be cutting this one because this is a passage to my main garden and um, it obstructs the way so i'll be doing that now so like i said this has been obstructing my way so i'm going to be trimming 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 it up And of course, whatever I trim up goes back to the ground. So at least I have an easy passage this way and this way, this way and this way. I also will be trimming this plantain tree. And of course whatever I trim goes back to the ground. So my passageway is clear now. I still have another activity I have to do in my garden this morning but this doesn't have to do with um, plants I actually still have my fishes to feed so you can come along with me and I'll be showing you how I'll be doing that and um, I think that would be all for today the Sun has come out and I have to go back inside um, I have over 500 um, fishes in here. I drained the water yesterday, so I'm going to be feeding the fishes this morning. 
so this is the fish food i hope you can see me here so i'm going to be feeding them i hope oh, okay good so I, I, I think um i fed them last night so they don't seem to be very hungry but at least you can see some um activity in the pond so i haven't really gotten um maybe the right quantity because i think i fed them i overfed them yesterday so that's it the only other thing i'm going to be doing this morning is i'm going to be adding um salt to this pond um that's because um just to it does to help it helps sanitize the water and also helps the fishes i guess it helps them to be healthy so i'm going to be adding salt to this pond so i'm going to be going in to grab some salt and i think i'm going to leave that salt um, here i hope i have salt in the house anyway So I just got back. So I have some salt here. I'm going to be adding some salt to this water. I guess it's going to help the fishes. I don't. I'm going to actually research um, what the salt does to them. I guess. So I'll be leaving that there. So that's going to be all my morning garden activities for this um, Saturday morning. There's obviously a lot to do in the garden, but um, of course I can't do everything in one day. I just thought to, you know, bring you along to see some of the activities um, I do in my garden. So I hope you love this um, content and i hope it inspires you also to do something great um, in your garden especially i would encourage that you plant food in your garden because um i tend to you know eat and eat you know from my garden and um, now i'm sure this um fish is not just going to um benefits me but i'm sure i'll be able to make some um, income from it at the end of the day and of course it is fun gardening farming whatever you call it um it's fun so i hope you love this content hope to see you again in my next video and um i will just encourage you if you haven't subscribed to this channel yet please do subscribe and also press the notification button that would let you know when next i'll be uploading a new video so take care and have a wonderful day bye so right now i'll be covering this just to keep you know the beds away and um, whatever that might affect it This would soon I think I'll
como... So, um, so this, um, this plantain, um, fell, I'm going to leave it like that. Funny enough, I think there's still some life, um, in it, so I'm going to leave it like that, and and see what I can get um, from it. I've done some like that, but they haven't fallen like you know completely like this. But the, there's still light in the in the branches, so I'll just leave it like that. has changed and I think the rains were too much so somehow with the sudden onset of the dry season um, they seem to be falling and we have a lot more dry leaves on the plantain on the plantain um, tree So that's actually some of my morning activities. Of course, with the garden, the morning activities change from day to day. Um, I have something else to do. So I guess I'm going to be showing you um, my, what's it called? Yeah, my spinach. It suffered a lot from the rain, but I'm just going to be cutting out the vines. 
So this is actually, I call it my sea of spinach, but the rains have not been. Good with them, so I'm just going to cut, you know, cut out the vines. Hopefully, I'll have new ones growing in their place very soon. To give room to more to grow. I think I'll be doing this in batches. The sun has come out now. So I'll be going in. We'll just be doing them little by little. Like I said, there's always a lot to do in the garden.